I think I was most influenced by becoming a Christian as a young age. I really found my life through the church and through teachers, both at church and in public schools. That really fueled me. Decided I would have certain standards in my life that I would adhere to morally, and they have served me well over the years. I guess the biggest choice I made was to go to Hendricks College, and uh, that's because that's where I met John Lyle my very first year there. I was a young freshman, he was a year older. We dated steadily for three years and married after he graduated, and we took off for Duke University. It determined the rest of my life. I would not be here today in having enjoyed the most wonderful life if it had not been for that choice to go with John when he got accepted to Duke Law School. And so I was privileged to be able to have children and to have some household help. And so I gave back by being almost a full-time community volunteer. In the 70s in Pine Bluff, I was active as a community volunteer through the Junior League, through the, Arcan through the Art Center for Southeast Arkansas, through the public schools, um, active with things like getting, helping get a SCAN program for child abuse and neglect started in Pine Bluff. I went to a national conference on child advocacy and was just overwhelmed by uh, realizing that the problems that children and youth face in our state were actually all, uh, true all over the country and that there was something we could do about it. I have such a passion for helping children and families and individuals so that their lives, they have a chance for their lives to turn out all right. Well, the Community Foundation was begun in 1976. Uh, many of the people connected with it knew that a strong community or state needs a public foundation, like a community foundation. And I had encountered the foundation in the 80s in Pine Bluff and helped start an affiliate there. It really led to what would become my career, but at the time I didn't do it for that reason. I did it because I thought Pine Bluff needed it and would benefit from it. When later, I was in, we had moved to Little Rock and I was uh, executive director of the Commission for Arkansas's Future, Martha Ann Jones, who ran it then, decided to retire and said that she was gonna recommend to the board that I be hired as the next uh, president. My great pleasure was presiding over an era in which our original funder, the Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation, reinvested in us uh, the second year I was there after I put a proposal before them how I thought we could grow statewide. And a year and a half after that, the Walton Foundation made one at that time, one of their largest grants, which was $18 million. So when I decided to retire at 69, I realized that the, the reason I could retire was really two. One, I had the, the perfect successor. I didn't have to worry for a minute about the health of the foundation. And second was that I realized the foundation had reached the tipping point, that it was gonna make it. We didn't have to worry if we would have to close the doors next year or next month as a lot of nonprofits do. I believe that as long as we're able to, it's our great joy to give back. And as long as people feel like I can bring something to the table, I, it's my joy to do that.